as simple and clear as this video's title is. We are going to start up the Hikvision IP camera and on the R connect the camera to a network video recorder so eventually it will record video constantly onto this on the R with the hard drive in it. And I'm going to show this done in two ways directly into the on the R and the monitor with no computer involved at all straight uh, on video recorder's interface. And secondly, activate both camera and the on the R via PC and then make it record video, uh, well, from PC uh, to that on the R uh, via PC. My name is Daniel, you're on the channel People Systems Store, where we have for you a range of industries, top network and analog cameras, on the R's, DVRs, alarm systems, and much more, and we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Now it is a network camera plus video recorder and the oh, it's out of the scene monitor. Hope you see it. Direct connection uh, from a scratch from the point where both devices are uh, out of the box and completely inactive. So what's going on here? I'm supplying the power and network to my camera due to the POE feature via twisted pay cable coming from the POE switch. There it is, a first channel, if I'm correct. For the video recorder, I'm using a supplied within the box 12 volt, there is it, a power brick to power it up, and supplying a network via twisted pair cable coming from a switch. Then the on the R is connected to the monitor via classic VGA cable. There's the monitor. And uh, else, I didn't yet touch anything except powering them all on and installing the hard drive into the uh, recorder. And plus, yeah, the mouse via USB is here as well. I have an empty 1TB hard drive installed in the video recorder. So uh, here you can see the on the R's uh, interface itself displayed on the monitor. And uh, yeah, let's start from activating the video recorder itself. Now let's uh, start from the password. Of course, you don't have other choice. So as you can see, it has to be 8 to 16 characters. You have to have one scene. Oh yeah, activation password. Yeah, use the device password. It will be good, so we don't have to um, create a new password for the camera, which is nice. Reserve the mail. Well, this is awesome to uh, reset a password, but uh, right now it is a demo, so I'm just uh, skipping it and pressing the activate. Draw the unlock. The do not use unlock pattern. I don't need it. This demo, but you can use it, of course, uh, to quickly turn it on after it, it falls asleep. There we go. Do not use time zone. It's always better to select your specifically correct time zone, and then the time will sync uh, with the server, and it'll be just great. But yeah, just do it, and you'll have a hundred percent correct time. All right. So yeah, done, next. Here, of course, you can turn it off and make it all manual, but you know what, you don't need it. It is a video recorder, oh, I'm sorry. So let it be a DHCP, let it, uh, by the magic way, have all the network settings itself, and we go next. And here, the High Connect phone app, if you wanna uh, output then the video stream, the video recorder onto your uh, phone, so yeah, enable it here. I have I have read and agree to service terms. Nice. There we go. And also we'll go with the time sync too. It's a verification code uh, to uh, scan with the High Connect app on the phone. And next. And there we go. Uh, there it is. The screen it wants to uh, add. Let's add cameras doing the wizard and they start. So here's the uh, single camera which is inactive here as you can see and of course and we need to activate it so we tick, press, uh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, didn't select it and activate all. Uh, use channel default parameter meaning uh, it will be the same password that I've just created when we're activating the, uh, you got it, <laughs> the video recorder. There we go, status online, now we're gonna Edit uh, right here, exception, gotta wait, connecting, and here it is, online. Well, honestly, that's basically it, but let's continue. And now we need to set up the video recorder onto the hard drive installed in the video recorder. All right, 
we're pretty much good and done here so next and as you can see i have a video uh, i have a hard drive in it uh, the started state is, is read write and uh, now we need to initialize it meaning format so that's what we do tick it check the box left to it and yes erase all data there you got the indication and now the system is going to prepare the hard drive uh, installed in it well for itself to reserve all the data reserve all the space for its needs for our videos from the single camera or however or whatever how much cameras you will add right there and tick the box and we finish and there we go cameras online you can see me you can see a camera guy say hi and as you can see the delay i hope you can see it is just perfect <laughs> all right uh you know what goes here you can get only one screen you get only single screen you can go division now it's uh, really cool this this one and here as you can see it's uh, it goes the mainstream which goes in almost four megabytes per second at 25 uh, 26, 25 frames per second in uh, 1080p megapixels, and the quality is quite good. And uh, now the recording. So we got a uh, exit full screen. There we go. It's a main interface. I'm sorry, uh, the, this thing that's shaking happening. Here's our playback. Here's the search. We're gonna need it right now. And the settings. So, uh, first of all, here is the uh, time that's set up automatically, and it's perfect. It's right the time that I have uh, right now, my phone, uh, lock screen password. I don't need it, as this is uh, just uh, literally a demo online. User left, exceptions, as you can see the hints, uh, the uh, alarm, well, if something went wrong with the system network uh, we didn't touch it high connect yes then we can scan the uh um, this QR code with the uh phone uh, with the high connect app and uh, i'll put it right there in the app the email if you want to uh well email your uh stati statistics analytics and stuff and uh make it able to reset the password via email now the camera settings uh here we, here we have it on channel number one so what we're able to do here Mm, network password that's it and plus we can uh oh, modify in network settings that well that's basically it although we can uh also modify the osd the thing that will uh show up right here on the screen and the event so the, the only thing you have uh, with this camera is the uh motion detection but i don't need it and i'm turning it off and of course here uh you can select you can draw a zone that you actually need for motion detection Either way, it just won't catch the zone that is not highlighted with these uh, lights. And there we go, I'm in schedule, linkage action, don't need it now. And here is the uh, button that we need, the record, the storage. So, uh, here's the hard drive, uh, and here is the schedule that we have right now active at the moment on the D1 camera 01, so yes, it's just this camera. Go back into uh, not my team settings, record. So schedule is 100% continuous, uh, all day, 24 by seven. Uh, and event is uh, red, yeah, my right. And of course I can make it uh, event and it will be red colored here. So there we go. And I can make it event, there we go. Event, event, event by all days. And uh, 00 to 24 hours a day. So, and okay, but now only the continues and I'm not gonna apply any new settings right now. Uh, the parameters, of course, the parameters of your camera or the video, you have it substream and mainstream. By the way, stream type, only video this time. And the playback, let's get the playback to show you all this stuff. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, let's get back. I'm going to playback select one single camera and here you can see like uh, just to show you here's my hand now and you can see it is not displayed there right now on the screen meaning yeah this is a recording let's uh, zoom in a bit and here you can see it's the blue line 
the continuous type of recording from that moment when we have activated the camera, act, uh, tied it within the video recorder, initialized the hard drive, and it started recording right here. So this is all that you actually need uh, to connect your, there it is, IP camera to your video recorder straight uh, uh, with the uh, <laughs> with your network video recorder uh, straight 100% directly using the uh, monitor screen and the mouse connected to your uh, video recorder and that's it. Um, for the computer based option we need to start up the uh, Hikovision network camera in the on the R uh, via either Hikovision software IDMS 4200 or your devices can be activated via web interface. Both ways are nearly identical, but in most, you will need a software and you will have a download link in the video description. Now I'm really quickly going through uh, camera and on the R activation and then get to the point of the video. So first of all, uh, the power and network are supplied to my camera due to the uh, POE feature via twisted pack cable single one coming from the POE switch. And for the uh, video recorder, I'm using a supplied within the box 12 uh, volt power brick uh, to power it up and supplying a network while we stick back cable coming from a switch as well. And I'm going to my laptop to make it all work. All right, now, uh, now I am in front of my laptop and I need to activate both my video recorder and the camera. Here they are. This is a Hikvision CDP2. Normally, you have uh, three options. Hikvision's IBMS 3200, CDP, batch configurator, and the web interface. This time, we'll be uh, doing this via CDP. Next time, via web interface. So let's start from the uh, camera activation. And that's what we do. Boop. I'm just coming up with the password. Just coming up with the password. It's uh, eight characters. Uh, the first one is capital and the numbers. Of course, Nebula High Connect. Well, whatever. I do want it to uh, then seamlessly connect it to the phone. It doesn't matter right now. Pressing the activate. Waiting just a second. And there we go. All of them are activated. Uh, security questions. Doesn't matter for me now as this is a demo. And uh, this is uh, nice, that IP address, it just catched the correct IP address, DHCP, because of this, and my subnet is zero. So yeah, uh, if you push this button, DHCP, it will get the uh, network settings automatically, which is great. All right, and the video recorder, just taking the like literally identical steps. New password, coming up, short. And I want more. Enable high connect. The same stuff. The same stuff here. Confirm and activate. Now I'm gonna wait just up to 30 seconds, I suppose. There we go. And it asks us to uh, make it a um, god damn it. Reserve back way. And we're not gonna do that. Cancel, confirm, and uh, there we are. Now our next step. Um, tying it with the video recorder and uh, making it record to the video recorder on its internal hard drive. Now, from the uh, point where both devices are activated, as you can see in my CDP tool, or you can use the IBMS or batch or web interface. Uh, so, uh, from this point, we need either Hypervision's IMS 3200 to work with the device and to set up the recording itself, or we can go uh, via uh, video recorder's web interface uh, accessible uh, via its IP address, literally. And uh, I'm just showing you like a second way to like demonstrate the variability, which is uh, awesome. And, and the fact uh, and the fact that regardless of which activation way you choose, um, uh, you do it the same way at all. So uh, any browser using the Google Chrome, and here you can see the IP address of my video recorder. So that's what I do, uh, 100 in the end, but zero. Oh, oh my, zero in here, there we go. Logging in with those uh, user data that we have created during the activation stage. Coming in and right away going to the configuration. First thing, first thing we gotta do, uh, we gotta add the camera. So now I go the uh, system, system settings and the camera management. Uh, from here, I'm doing the quick add to uh, let video recorder find the camera on its own. So quick add, 
now waiting you know, like 5, 10, 15 seconds. And there we are. The camera that we've got, as you can see, uh, 103, 103 in the end. Okay. Save succeeded. Save succeeded. Okay. Okay. Modify. Uh, although we're going to input the uh, password that we have for it. And, and there we go. The camera status is now online and it is now connected, added to the uh, video recorder. So here we are. Uh, next thing, what you gotta do, go to the storage and storage management. As you can see, I have uh, the, well, almost a terabyte. You won't ever have a complete terabyte. So here it is. And of course, we gotta prepare it. To do that, we need to uh, check here and press format. You just heard that indication coming from the video recorder. So uh, the hard drive is being uh, formatted right now. It just have to happen uh, because the system is now going to reserve the entire hard drive for its needs for the video recording. There we go. Property is read write, which is great. Uh, and there we go. There we go. Now it's being used in this system. And the only thing we have left, by the way, let's check again. Camera management, Got one single camera and if we go uh, to live view, although I don't have any plugin right now, but you can see that there is a camera right away here. All right, don't need that right now anyway. Go in there. Configuration, come on. There we go. Uh, storage is okay. And now uh, the schedule settings, now the recording, as you can see, uh, the continuous type of recording, yeah, turn on by default. I mean, yeah, and for the only single channel that we have. You can go to uh, advanced, you can see you know, different stuff. And we can also uh, turn on different options. Like we can go, let's see, delete all and draw the motion, draw the alarm, whatever. Right now it is a continuous type for me and it's already started the recording actually. So uh, from this moment, you can go in a playback and find uh, the video that has been recorded although i have to uh install the plugin for that should download it let it happen no doesn't want to finish it okay okay there we go and there we go yeah sure finish mm -hmm. and there we are as you can see here let me just oh <gasps> One thing, there we go. And looks like I'm, yeah, and there we go. The recording has started and you can see the continuous and you can see the time. Oh, I didn't set the correct time. But anyway, here it is. In the configuration, we have tied a single camera in the first channel in the uh, network video recorder. Then uh, we formatted and uh, turned on the uh, hard drive and made it work for this system uh, specifically. And then we uh, set up the continuous type of recording or whatever you want. Um, this is it. I genuinely hope this video will help you achieve things that you want to achieve and assemble your perfect CCTV system. And in our people's system store, we have all parts that you might need for your security system. Uh, cameras, video recorders, intercoms, and many else. And thank you for watching.